It's a stunning property in a desirable part of town, but selling anything right now in Calgary is difficult. My client has actually moved out of the province just to look for better opportunities. And so we're both trying to rent it and sell it at the same time. And it's literally whatever's going to come first. In fact, most of Sarah Johnston's listings are with clients who have already left the city, attracted by opportunities elsewhere in the midst of Alberta's terrible job market. Geologists are having a hard time. Engineers and oil and gas are having a hard time. Ray Farkas is a chemical engineer who's made the difficult decision to leave. He has three kids in Calgary, but after four years of working in construction just to get by, he felt he had no choice but to take an offer in the Middle East. Their kids are going to university in four years, so I need to have things sorted out before then, so I can't continue to wait here. Of course, it wasn't always this way. Before 2014, Alberta was the land of opportunity. In 2012, Fort McMurray saw 60,000 people fly in and out just to work each year. Last year, that number plummeted to around 18,000. And that's had a lot of impact on the retail sector and uh, restaurants in town as well. Uh, there's just there's fewer people in the community. In all the places to close, this is the saddest. The Wood Buffalo Brew Pub is one of several restaurants to recently close. Small business owner Robbie Picard says it's been tough. This has lasted a long time and people are very worried. Alberta's economy is growing even if that growth is slow right now. A recent outlook projects 0.8 percent growth this year and as much as 2 percent growth for 20 20. Still, there are many people in this province who are out of work and the number of unemployed Albertans is growing as well. It's the biggest issue. Um, you know, our unemployment rate remains among the highest of any city. But Calgary's mayor says he's heard little from any federal party leader about what can be done to turn things around. I haven't heard from any of the candidates, not one, what their actual plan for Calgary and for Alberta will be. I think that we're completely ignored. You see all the election coverage and they talk about the pipeline, but they don't necessarily talk about Alberta. And it's not just statistics and data, it's humans. People that are now feeling forgotten in their struggle as the federal campaign enters the home stretch. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.